Hello everybody and welcome back to Falmunction Plays Alan Wake. Also happy Halloween as he uh, slides off the thing here. Uh, last time we left off here, Alan was looking for the alleged kidnapper of his wife. We'll see, uh, you know, how true that ends up being. Also, uh, yeah, I think even if we're past Halloween now, I still want to continue my, uh, my horror series here. I don't think there's a reason not to, uh, until we're done with them. Shit. Or until they're done with us. Holy fuck. Oh no! Not the crows! <gasps> well, who could have guessed? Okay. Flare gun action! Come on, we got Hello. I did not expect that. <laughs> the flares will keep the bastards away. Hmm. I think we just leveled up. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, oh can pick it up again. Gun. Just keep that light steady on. Ah, we got some moment, more in here. But then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. <sighs> he has a gun, so yeah, the suspicion is definitely warranted. Follow the kidnapper, it says. Cause that's how the story goes. Great. There's one behind us. Oh! Always with the throwing axes. What the Oh, behind me! <clears throat> well Gotta go with the flares now. Okay. Well, that's not good. If this guy actually turns out to be the kidnapper, then, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Thankfully, he has enough ammo for the both of us. Shoot him! Would you shoot him, please? Lover's Peak, right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, no can do. Peak. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. Well then. How about here? A little longer. Scare him off. Oh. It just burns out. That's great. So you just hold down the button and keep them off that way. That's like my last player, I think. Okay. Whoa, wait. There we go. We just go, please. There we go. 
Oh. That was a close one. Oh, I should be, right? Hmm. I don't remember the kidnapper's voice, but it was pretty generic and it could be him. Ready. They'll be on us soon. I don't like where this is going. Oh. There's a thermos. I saw you. You can't hide from me. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. Ooh, wow. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me Post the up. goddamn gun. They're coming. The damn. Go. Light goes out. Program, Wake. As long as I can use my flashlight, well. <clears throat> so yeah, this dude will have to be either he's a. He's um, confirming that all of this is real. Ouch. Or he's also a figment of his ma imagination. And I'm uh, tending to the latter. Okay, there's guys coming from the from behind. That's not good. Oh, I'm out of flares. Get him. Ah, oh, God. Stop it. I wish there was a way to, for me to actually defend myself. Kill him! Took you long enough. Now what? Oh. Oh no! They, come, they keep coming out of the woodwork. There's no indication that there's somebody behind me. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Get with the program. Okay then. I'm gonna try the flashlight instead. I think that's actually better. I think I need the flares when they're all up in my grill. Would you what? Uh, maybe kill this dude? It's right in front of me. Okay, they should be vulnerable. Please. Okay, second wave. We can do this. We can do this. With all our flares still. Last one might have been overkill. Okay, here you come. There were two. Oh, God damn it! Last player. Make it count, dude. Behind you! Damn it! K 
Kill him! <laughs> that was a big one. Hope that was it. <sighs> Man, now what? Where's my wife? Let's cut the act now. Where's my there wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit uh, not very thoughtful there. Okay, here we go. We're playing by my rules now, bitch. No, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. Well, let's read another page. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own. Something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else. Something foreign. And nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant. Until now. You got that right. He had Alice. And he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. Oh. But I had no can I, you actually, can I actually fall I off, I think? And figure out my next move. That's a rare thing in games these days. I could probably fall off and, and die in the river. That's pretty cool, actually. Did not expect that. Of course, now we have only one battery and uh, like six bullets. Also, I should have switched to uh, right shoulder view, I guess, but. Mr. Briggs. Oh, great. Oh, he went away. And we have a bear trap? Don't. Uh, what? Let's see, maybe we can spring it. Please don't warn me about these traps. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to get caught in one of them. Those teeth look nasty. At first, I wanted to walk over it, but that's not how that works. Uh, okay. Just gonna see if I can maybe find some hidden caches. Because I could really use one right now. Hmm. Should also be looking out for. Any shadows? Is there another one? I guess I want to preserve my ammo. I don't want to. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> right. Moving on. Let's try not to. Get in there. Of course, once we actually have to fight somebody, we might not be able to be this careful. Oh, that's where it came from. Okay. But for now, I think this is a good choice. Wow. Would you think that's a little bit overkill? How many bears are you gonna try and catch like this? I mean, theoretically, when you actually get one in one of the traps, he's gonna make a lot of noise. And, uh... Also, why would you do it on the path itself? I guess that's not really on the path. Whatever. Um... 
the bear is going to make a lot of noise and that will make it so other bears will probably avoid uh, this place and therefore all the other traps were more or less uh, put up in vain. Or whatever, it's a video game. Oh, another page. <clears throat> Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument, because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on, something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake would hurt his wife. Then she thought about the way he waded into Hartman, that hair-trigger rage flaring up without warning. Sarah wasn't such a good police officer. <laughs> or even sheriff. So I guess we need to go this way. deal with you guys. How am I supposed to do this? Just run. No! Oh wait, I have 29? How did I get 29 bullets? Did I have all those when I when I started this area or did they give me extra bullets just like that? I guess we were better prepared than I thought. It's actually pretty ingenious that they gave... Oh, look at this. That's not good. Fuck! God damn it. I wish they gave you like some sort of indication when they were behind you. Almost dead again. I have no more batteries as well. Uh, they keep coming. No, maybe not. Which way do I go? <laughs> yeah, this is the same thing as that the first time we fought uh, the shadow creatures and like one of them uh, chased us so far that like the pier went like was destroyed anyway like I said uh, also I have no idea uh, what I'm, where I'm going right now Uh, it's pretty ingenious how they make you like pay attention to the ground. That's gonna make the ambushes seem even worse for you. I guess we go up here, huh? Seems like a good choice. I hope this is not too hard to see for you guys. Oh, great. But it's supposed to be this, uh, weird, you know? <clears throat> Come on! Look 
kill the big guy first. There we go. Okay. So, got more batteries. Thank you. Another manuscript page. Which, for some reason, the guy wants the manuscript. And um, if there are missing pages that we can only acquire from, um, like, uh, playing hard mode or nightmare mode, I guess, uh, then we would never be able to do that? Okay. So the here. It had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. The hell? I don't think there's a chainsaw here yet, but there might be soon. Uh, we got a hunting rifle now. First time ever. Is there anything else except for this generator? Another thermos? That might be it. Just wanna make absolutely sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So what does this generator do? I guess, oh, it makes it... I guess I should have done that earlier. Gives me a safe spot. Thank you very much. <laughs> <clears throat> now where to next? I don't remember that I still have one more flare left, just in case. But that'll be a last resort. Make it through the woods. Uh, uh, I don't remember from which way we came, but I'm gonna go this way. Seems to be correct. I wonder if those enemies are... are just respawning. I would hope they're not, but you can never know, really. I'm not sure if I'm in the right... I'm going the right direction here. Let's go back up. Maybe we can see something uh, more clearly from there. <clears throat> so let's see. Maybe there's a way over here? Hmm. I guess we can try. Yeah, we definitely haven't been here yet. Hmm. Focus on the Ooh. white ball. It made no sense. It was ah. clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Oh, and the uh, cache as well. Of course, it starts to uh, crumble right now. We'll be fine. Don't worry. So yeah, there's a plane apparently. Um, which would explain the, you know, the bumpy, uh, the bumpiness of the, of our climb up here. Where's this cache? We saw uh, the last one. Yeah, it was. Tells me to go over there. Also, something. Something I touched with the cone of my flashlight was doing. 
the monster thing, you know? There's the cache down here. for uh, you know crevices hmm. god damn it where is that stupid cachet maybe in here no we can't open that you hear that breathing too right not just me. So it says up there. It's not on the wing. If we follow the pointer right this way, then that's just the wall. Ah, fuck it. If we're not uh, finding it, we're not meant to find it. C'est la vie. So... Where do I go, though? Bro. No, that's not a path. Hmm. Maybe I'm just not getting it. I don't really see where I'm supposed to go. This is where I came from. Ah, there's another pointer. Oh, okay, I got it. Alright, it's not that hard, actually. <laughs> Just needed some uh, guidance. Wasn't thinking I might have to yeah. climb the plane, but... Really, I should have been... I should have known. Oh, there it is. That's what I burned off. There's one, another one here. I don't know if that does anything. So. Right. Are we gonna be able to climb it now? Yes. No, come on. Jesus Christ, wake. Okay, viewers, so audience interaction time. Oh, we just go up here. Well, that's a lot easier than I thought. Audience interaction time. Um, if you had to cast. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't. What? Oh, there. Didn't give me the prompt until now. If you had to cast a movie uh, for Alan Wake, like a like an adaptation of the game, who would you cast? Um, I'd say. Hmm. I may, maybe I should have given this more thought to begin with. <laughs> Just came to mind. Um, Alan Wake. Hmm. Who would be a good Alan Wake? 
Okay. Should have known. Oh. We got four bullets and that's it. That's just peachy. Luckily, uh, this hunting rifle is pretty dope. Oh, we got more. Maybe John Hamm might be a good Alan Wake. That's just the best I could do on short notice. Uh, let's see, is this another safe zone? Yes, it is. All right, I could use some ammo though. There we go. And for his wife, I think Alice would be a good pick for Marion. Uh, no, well, maybe Marion Cotillard, but she's a little bit too pretty. I always mix them up. Uh, I mix mix uh, up Marion Cotillard with um, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, <laughs> Maggie Gyllenhaal, <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal's sister. Uh, it's just so. I actually think, Mary, um, not Marin, um, the uh, Maggie uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal is a very beautiful lady, like unconventionally attractive. But that one, uh, that one role in Dark Knight, I don't know what they were doing. She looks horrible. Um, I, sh I think she's a way better actress than uh, Katie Holmes, so I'm glad for that, but they should have known better. Like the makeup artist or whatever. And then Barry, who do we... Who do we uh, cast as Barry? Maybe Seth Rogen? Not not Seth Rogen. What am I talking about? Not Seth Rogen. I mean, um, what's his name? Super bad. Uh, God. Super bad. Moneyball. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill might be a good Barry, although I think by this point in his career, he might not. Okay. What the hell? Um, can I still climb this? Oh, just wheeze back and forth. Okay. Very dark soulsy, light towny. Uh, by this point in Jonah Hill's career, he might not bother with a movie like this. I don't see anybody else to... Uh... Oh, no, it's just smoke. I don't see anybody else to... Uh... To cast. Although... Hmm. Maybe that that woman we saw in the in the parking not not the parking lot the um, the woman with the veil who told us where to go who gave us the fake keys I don't know maybe Glenn Close would be a good one oh and wait um. Of course, the sheriff. We gotta cast the sheriff too. I'll think about that one. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. 
Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Hmm. I don't know about the uh, sheriff. I gotta think about that one a little bit. Uh, in any case, oh, there's another page up there. Uh, in any case, uh, you guys, why don't you give me your picks? Do you agree with mine, or do you have anybody else in mind? Especially with Alan Wake, I think there might be better choices than the one I came up, came up with. Which, um, that was just on short notice. How do I get up there? Just jumping? No. Oh, is, yeah, that's a that's an elevator. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there must be a way to get up to the top of the mill. Some sort of mechanism. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Nothing that really springs to mind. Maybe we're just meant to keep exploring and we'll naturally get to that point up there. Let's see. Oh. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> You'd think you couldn't, like, crank on something in here and that would make it go up, but no. God damn it. And there has to be a way up there. It's out of the question. Man. <laughs> oh, maybe I just... Oh. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Oh! Fuck. Thought I could make the jump, but nope. Oh well. Before we end the episode, then, we can... You really suck, Alan. I should've... I'm not sh I don't think I'm the only one to tell you that. Oh, come on! Ah. See you next time.